Today, I'm going to stuff my revolving cash envelopes. Let's go. Hi, beautiful people. My name is Keisha, a.k.a. Keisha Budgets. And thank you for tuning into my channel. I'm a single mom with two little girls just trying to maneuver through this world. And I like helping other single moms like me with budget and finance. And I do that by way of cash envelope stuffings, as well as sharing my debt snowball updates. I also share budgeting and finance tips. So if you find value in this kind of content, please hit subscribe. Okay, y'all. Whew. Well, before I get started, I hope y'all doing okay tonight. I hope y'all got the kiddos in the bed. Um, because it's time for some me time. Y'all know I'm, I've gotten big on that me time. Y'all got my candle going. Looking at my funds here. Um, and I just want to be a part of your, your me time, your relaxed time. So, let's see what we got going on, y'all. I'm not going to lie. Uh, this is my first time. Um, trying this and I thought that I wouldn't have anything in any of these envelopes <laughs> nada okay so let's see how I fared before I start stuffing so with the girls uh, I don't have anything in this because um, I had to get a few things for them we started off I believe with $25 for them okay and now grocery have a little bit left here in grocery Over. Keep them in order. Oh, I got eleven dollars left in grocery. Okay, my allowance. I had fifty for grocery. For my allowance, I gave myself twenty-five dollars. I thought that was gonna be on zero. Ha <laughs> ha, food y'all. <laughs> Let's see how much. Well, it's close to zero. I got three dollars. Three dollars there gas I got ten dollars left <laughs> y'all look at eating out <laughs> Woo, eating out go ahead and put this well I got some more change over here so that's eating out what do I have left a dollar and five, six, seven, eight, nine cents. <laughs> Ten cents. Household. I didn't think I was going to spend much in that, but it seems like I just had to get some of everything. So I had two ones left. And some change. So let's see how much my change is. 30, 40, 50. See, 30, 40, 50, 55, 56. So I had like a dollar. Was that a dollar I put in there? A $2.56? So I'm going to go ahead and just put this in here. So y'all can see I kind of spent trying to save some change, but I'm not doing that great with it. <laughs> but um, let's see. 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 Three, four, five, six ones. Go ahead and put that in here. Because I got to do better with, with my, my ones and my fives. I got to do better. I got two fives. I'm going to need to fix this. Abraham Lincoln falling apart. Come on, Abe. Okay. And then I have this 10. Um... I don't know if I should, you know what? I think I'm just going to add this 10 back into the stuffing. So instead of stuffing 200 today, I think I'm going to stuff the 210. I think I'm going to just recycle this here. Yep, I think that's what I'm going to do. Okay, let's go ahead and get started. Let's give my girls, I'm going to give them $25. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, $25. So hopefully I won't have to get too much for them this next two weeks, but you never know. You never know because last week I had to get um, some things from the pharmacy for them. 
a um, couple other things. So you just never know how that's going to go. But the good thing is having the money prepared, having the money allocated so that you can use it. I know a lot of people are like, well, just keep $200 just set aside. You don't have to put a name on it. But you know what? If I had this $200 set aside, that $200 would be spent <laughs> inappropriately. <laughs> Trust me on that. <laughs> to thyself be true. <laughs> I know me. Okay? And I know what I have to do to keep my money where it needs to be. So, you know, if you can just put that 200 aside, you might be like my sister. And you're good. But I'm not a big, big frugal person. I'm working on it. I'm trying to do my best. I have made a lot of frugal changes in my life. But I do struggle with if it's something I really, really want. Like, oh my gosh. It just, it can be a challenge. But if I put a name on it, I do much better. So if I know I have an allowance, hey, you need to work in your allowance. If you need something big, maybe you need to save your allowance every two weeks. A <laughs> solid kid now. But hey, sometimes I'm kid-like when it comes to my money. But I do have enough sense to come up with, with budgeting plans to help me. Okay, so grocery is $50. 20 30 40 50 60 dollars So I do need to pick up a few things from Aldi this week. Um, I did, it was kind of sporadic last week, but I'm gonna really be more intentional this week with grocery. Okay, allowance is 25, 10, 15, 20. That's like a thick one, 21, 22. 23, 24, 25. Let me make sure. 10, 15, 20, 21, 2, 3, 4, 5, 25. So, y'all, you just got to do you. You just got to do what is going to help you with your money. Everybody is different. I'm a kinesthetic, kinesthetic tactile person. I got to touch it and feel it. It just sitting in that bank does nothing for me. You know, no, I'm not going to say it does nothing for me because I like having money in the bank. Don't get me wrong. But when I need to have money to to get through um, the week, you know, from paycheck to paycheck, I need to be able to touch it. I do much better with it like that. I've come to find out because just knowing I have X number of dollars in my account, swipe, 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 swipe. And then you don't spend $150 for the month at fast food restaurant. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. All right, gas. I'm going to add that extra 10 to gas. So that'll be $60. Okay. 20, 40, 50, 55, 60. 20, 40. 50, 55, 60. So $60 for gas. Okay, eating out gets 30. Let me see. Let me see. Should I do a 20? No. <laughs> no, ma'am. 10, <laughs> 15, 20. 25, 26, 7, 8, 9, 30. And I strategically do it like this so that I don't just go go pull out a $20 bill because I'm going to be prone to want to spend that. So I might just want to, hey, get a five, couple ones, $5 menu, get you a little quick. Uh, what's that at Wendy's? Is it a four? Four for five, four for four. I can't remember how it goes, but y'all know how those little meals are. Because I really, you really got to manage my eating out. I really do. Okay. Of course, the last one is household. $20. So we have stuffed $210. I just rolled over that extra $10 from my last revolving uh, cash stuffing. Uh, I had $10 left for gas, so I just kept it with gas. So I have $60 this week um, for gas, just in case you never know how things are going to go, because I'm going to um, 
do more things this week and next week. So I may need a little more gas, okay? But um, I hope that you all are doing well. I hope that you have enjoyed this video. And if you have, please make sure you like it and um, hit subscribe if you are not subscribed. And thank you all that have subscribed. We're almost at 700, y'all. You know, this has been a slow process. I've been working things out, trying to streamline my channel, get things together. But I appreciate all of you who have taken out time to watch a video, to comment, to like. I definitely appreciate that. And also, please make sure that you put your your comments in the chat. Um, if you have any prayers, because I, I love praying for everybody, put your prayers in the chat. And then also make sure you pray for people in the chat. You know, if you so desire, that would be greatly appreciated. But thank you all so much. And I hope that you have a fantastic week. Take care of yourself, spend time with your loved ones, and just do the best you can. Be the best of you, best you you can be. And also remember, Take care of your money and your money will take care of you. See you guys in the next one. Bye.